Hey loves, welcome back to my space. If you're new here, thank you so much for dropping by. If you are in OG, I see you. Do you see this boho flower on my wall? Do you see this? <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to make this flower. And if you're tired of palm leaves, don't worry. Don't worry. We are going to create. So all you need is a pen, your scissors, any circular thing to make a circle for you. So for me, I use this sufuria lid, ufuniko ya sufuria, and then you're going to use yarns, and we're also going to use a ruler for measurements, and our brown paper for palm leaves, and our glue. I'm obsessed with palm leaves now, and if you have been to my channel for the last few months, you know that I get an obsession, and I make sure that I've exhausted every single idea when I'm obsessed. Uh, so this this time I'm going to do a boho flower and I'm going to make it this cute because I love how it came out. I love it came, how it came out. So why not share it with you? So we're going to make circles as you can see. I made one, one bigger circle and then I made another inner circle so that I can cut um, the uh, cut um, with the spacing of one inch. <coughs> I'm still under the weather, so my voice is messed up, messed up. But again, as always, nothing, nothing will stop us from creating nothing. Trust me, nothing. So we are going to cut, as you can see me doing. Um, those who come to my inbox and be like, Mbono natumia katon yang pombe, mbono natumia chupa za pombe. This is a Guinness box. <laughs> don't ask me where I got it. Don't, don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me because we use anything we find. <laughs> I know mtata niliza mbona sina box ya biscuits. But anyway, ni sawa tu. We are going to use this Guinness box and cut. So as I said, I wanted uh, to have... Um, two circles and then when I was cutting I realized the inner one is still too small so I took in um, uh, uh, too big I mean so I took in my plate my small circular plate so that I can create an inner one that is small don't worry about so much lines so many lines I mean don't worry about having it all not together because you will have it together at the end of this video <laughs> it will come out super super cute so what i did is i went in cutting the inner circle that i've made with my plate and as you can see i have a more one to more one one inch yeah one inch space this is 1.5 inch space between the outer line and the inner line yeah so that's what i did i'll advise when you do this cut into cut two like have two pieces so then attach them together so that it can be firm so for me i never did that but for you because Mimi ndio, what is it called? Ile, ile nye na experimentingi kwanza. Anyway, I did the experiment for you and then I realized you need to have a stronger, a stronger what? Stronger carton or cardboard. So, for you to have stronger one, just attach, put together, two to together, yeah? Two together, like, glue them together. Then we go in with our yarn. You can use any okay you can use any yarn we go in with a yarn you can use any yarn you want for me i went in with white but you can use color because why not you can use color my sister was like oh i wish you used orange because she loves orange someone else was like yo you could be using black and i'm like i loved white for this so we are going to create a boho decor because Hey, Mimi, I guess Nimianza Kutengeneza Christmas decorations for my house because why not? Why not? The year has just been like zoop in my fly to boom boom. Like we're here. And it's a few days to to what? To festive season. So I decided why not create this boho flower as part of my decor. So as I said, we're just going to wrap in wrap these with um with our yarn. Good news is you're not going to wrap the entire thing. This thing took time. It took me time. But patience pays. As I always say, patience pays. Yeah? It took me time. But as I said, thank God you're not going to wrap the entire the entire box. But again, I, I wrapped the larger part of it. <laughs> so yeah, I wrapped to that end. And then I left some some part that was not wrapped. Because I, will go, I was going to attach my palm leaves. Because I've already created palm leaves like for the last two to three three videos i've done palm leaves and this one was not 
was had no choice but to insert or bring in palm leaves again <laughs> don't be tired with palm leaves yeah so if you haven't watched my two videos my two previous videos yo yo you're missing out you're missing out so anyway this one we're going to do small palm leaves and i wanted them to have like a certain shape so i folded this and then i did cut this is just a random cut you don't have to do any measurements you cut in you go in as much as you want if you have if you want to have a tip a sharp tip you go in sharper or in a in a in a dani 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 but for me i just did that shape and then i created my palm leaves and trust me these small ones they were just showing off like have you ever done a diy and then when you're done you're like yo you just you're just showing off you're too cute and you're showing off because i felt like these small ones these small palms were showing off like i told you that in my previous video but i know you're watching this video and you haven't watched the previous one can you just go back and watch like watch the previous video you know because you're missing a lot you're missing a lot so anyway for those who haven't watched i'm going to do to repeat this process again how to create palm leaves this is what you do pole 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 don't be in a rush create as much small folds as you want or you know the more small the smaller the folds the bigger the, um, the what the prettier the flower will look and see as you can see have you seen that glue gun messed me up nearly chomeka hapo penye mmeona hapo glue gun as i always tell you be careful with glue gun but again accidents do happen so because glue gun messed me up so once you're done creating you do you add your, your you join them together with your glue gun or your paper glue or whatever you have any glue that you have your office glue your transparent glue like you're not limited to a specific glue because this paper and it can be held together with any glue yeah that's the advantage so once you've done i can check it over here these, these ones these ones these two small ones they were showing off and i was like huh wow wow so the first one I was doing to and era because yo these ones look so cute but anyway once you're done we're going to attach these ones i made i created as much as i could because i wanted to fill the space as much and also <clears throat> i wanted to have um a fuller boho flower yeah you you get what i'm i'm going for yeah can you can you get what i'm going for so once i've done uh, uh, one of them the ones the one that will be at the bottom needed to have a stem if you haven't watched the stem video can you go back and see because this is the first method that i showed you on the stem video and it's the same method that i'm using here because i've already learned and because i won't struggle like i struggled the first first video yeah so yes there we go there we have it we have our little fold the one that i've glued down and then you're going to attach it to one of our palm leaf that is so cute that i'm in love with and yo this is the simplest method because as i said the best thing about this is is that the leaf and the stem look like they're coming from one place like it's a, it's like that stem has grown from that cup ka, ka, ka what ka leaf you see you see so you have to glue it down and then attach <coughs> attach your your palm leaf and you're done so for me i felt like i needed one to have the stem not all of them just one or two you can do two the ones that will be at the bottom of the flower so i did one then it came the part to attach these boho leaves palm leaves eh? but boho palm leaves for me you can see all my palm leaves are round but you can also make yours have uh, sharp ends yeah so for me they were they were having that semicircle nini at the top yeah that semicircle uh, shape at the top but you can make a castor shape at the top by cutting just reducing the the what reducing the the roundness there you just cut a little sharp edges sharp edges it will give you a castor form so once you're done we are going to glue them down when you're gluing this down be very gentle and careful with the glue gun because these these are small small uh leaves or you're working close closer 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 to the surface to the surface area where you're placing your glue so be gentle 
check look at your hands eh? take care of your hands take care of your fingers i'll also advise when you're doing them make sure they face upwards because for me i was like mm, at, the, at the start i was like hiya why are you going this direction why are you going this direction but yeah i had to undo and redo undo and redo until i get what i want but anyway here we go i started attaching when you're attaching make sure you don't leave spaces like i did make sure you see i haven't done that make sure you don't leave spaces like i did because i felt like leaving spaces made made um the flower look like it, it didn't it was like lacking something like lacking a certain vibe so when you're creating make sure they're facing upwards and also make sure that you finna them together when attaching finna them together so that it can attach and then ikifunguka it will take a larger space do you, do you feel me when it opens up it will take an a space don't worry this one i did and undid i did and re, you know like we learn we go on in learning uh, and learn so don't 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 be tired the one that had a stem is what i just attached on the on the yarns as you can see the custom one looks like it's coming from the yarn upwards and then i made sure that these ones the other ones were looking up as i said mine had spaces but creativity we're not going to block our creativity so we're going to fill the spaces as much as you can best advice make sure they face upwards as you create you can see there's like a certain place that is missing a, a, a an entire a leaf but i never noticed this because i was like yo it's coming up it's coming to life it's coming to life like this flower this boho flower this boho deco was coming to life so i never saw the missing space until i realized mm, creativity boom i placed my beads can you see that i have pearls pearls i added pearls these pearls are cute like they made the entire flower look genius like magical look the way they look you can tell that there's a space with one two three four five are five five pearls eh? you can tell that's where there was a larger space that was missing a boho that was missing a palm leaf but creativity comes in and you just create can you tell there's a missing leaf no and we're done with that we're already done with this look at this boho like look at this creativity thank you so much for creating with me thank you so much for always dropping here when you're doing a creation thank you so much because craft is fun when you're doing it as a team i appreciate you guys for watching i appreciate you guys for always being here and watching me create now you can tell me what is missing for my <laughs> Christmas deco because that's what how it looks on my walls. Look at that! Yay! Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, don't miss to watch out for the next next deco as you create for Christmas. Thank you so much. Bye bye.